Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspi's 12 box Pro Bowl football mixer featuring PSA 10 Dan Marino. Yes, that's about $6,000 value. The price of those vintage cards have been have been going up. Up 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 to the moon. There it is right here. There are the boxes involved right here. There's all 12. And a very big thank you to everyone here. Whether you bought spots straight up or whether you won spots, however you got in, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. By the way, cello pack two and three were for were fillers for a contender's break, but one was for this mixer and then four, five, six was for this mixer. Thanks everyone for getting in, really appreciate it. All 32 teams are in, let's roll it, let's randomize it. Five and a three, eight times for names and teams and obviously a separate dice roll for the Merino giveaway. Five and a three. Eight times, names, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. And eighth and final time, after eight, we've got Mac down to Narc. Five and a three, eight times for the teams, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and good luck. Eighth and final time after eight. Steelers down to the Green Bay Packers. That's the plan, Kenny. That is the plan to pull everyone fire, I hope. Mac, you got the Steelers, Jason with the Texans, Robert with the Dolphins, Matt with the Bengals, Catherine with the Broncos, Gail with the Giants, Adam with the Bills, Kenny with the Browns, Kim, you got the Panthers, William with the Lions, Alifonso with the Rams, Matthew with the Chiefs, James with the Jags, Narek with the Seahawks, Sean with the Cards, Zach T with the Eagles, Adam, you got my Raiders, Nick Stover with the Falcons, Joanne with the Chargers, Jay with the Bears, Adam with the Vikings, Colin with the Niners, Jay with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, James, Titans, Nick, Cowboys, Last Spot Mojo star next to your name, Will, Bulldog fan, Saints right there, Matt with the Washington football team, John with the Patriots, Ron with the Colts, Chris with the Jets, Dylan with the Ravens, and Narek with the Green Bay Packers. Let's get all this on one screen right here. Let's sort by column B, by team. And uh, trade at your own risk, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, consider all the different years that, that are in this, uh, this mixer. There's a box of 2013 back here, 2018, mini helmets. And remember, if you trade positions, I don't know, that might affect this too, so just keep that in mind. But if you think you got a bad team, Guess what? Remember, you still you still have a shot at this. All right, I'm gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. It's all good, though. There it is on Saturday the 30th. Thanks for uh, spending some time with us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Logan, I, I would be I would be disappointed in your team too, with the way that went down. In Green Bay. All right, now remember, just keep this in mind. If you think you got randomized a bad team or if you're having a bad break as we get to the end, just keep this in mind. You still have a shot at this. You still have a shot at this. Keep that right next to me right over here. All right, let's go through the – it's a lot of base-heavy stuff, so let's just kind of work through these. Let's do – let's get Prestige done first. Let's get Prestige out of the way first. So Logan, let's kind of do the post mortem on the uh, on the Packers. What? Well, here you go. See, speaking of Packers, what what are they? What, what's the what's the next step for for Green Bay? Do they do they try to move this trade this guy? You know, I don't know what, I don't know what they're gonna what they're gonna do.
You know, do they do they try to rebuild? Do they not rebuild? I mean, you would thought they were they were going to give him some more weapons. But maybe it was the defense. Defense had some issues. Maybe add more defense, and that's the that'll that'll do it. That'll do the trick. I don't know. We'll see. Sign Aaron Jones, but Juan is saying that they don't have cap space to re-sign him. Not resign him, but re-sign him. And Aaron Jones looking for a payday. So if you're not going to have Aaron Jones, if you can't pay Aaron Jones, I don't know. Logan saying, sign Jones, trade for a wide receiver, trade love, keep everybody else. I, mean, I don't know if they're going to trade. The thing is, I don't think ownership wants to trade Jordan Love. They didn't draft him, what, in the first round, I think? Late first round? They didn't draft him that early just to trade him the next year. Yeah, and what kind of value do you even get for Jordan Love? James is mentioning at this point. Yeah, second round pick maybe? Where was he? He was picked pretty high. All right, so these are prestige retail packs, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. It's kind of almost a terrible position for the Packers because it's like, it's like you're kind of in purgatory. You're like, where where are you gonna go? Like, you're not bad enough to just tear everything down and start over. You're good enough to get to the NFC Championship game, win regular season games pretty comfortably, but there's just like that, that extra step, that extra hurdle. I mean, we're it's a it's a weird spot to be in. All right. So most of these are gonna be vet commons, of course. Mixers like this, veteran commons are not going to ship. But we're looking for, this is 2020, right? Yeah, so we're looking for the this year's rookies. I mean, 2020 rookies. Obviously, RC's rookie cards will, will ship. Inserts will ship. Stuff like that will, of course, ship. There's Aaron Rodgers, Heroes, that'll ship. Let's see what happens. They did let the defensive coordinator go, uh, right? Green Bay did let the defensive coordinator go, so maybe they're thinking they can improve on that front. Of course, that's, that's what my Raiders need to do in the offseason, just overhaul that. Overhaul that defense. All right, so yeah, the thing with, it, Justin's right, I mean, the thing with, with running backs is that their shelf life is it sucks because it's just the but it's just due to the position that they play. It sucks, but running backs are kind of replaceable. You don't you're not you don't see AJ Adrian Petersons all the time. You know what I mean? And you have AJ Dillon in the wings. How many times have you seen the running back get paid? You know, and then start to start to decline that very next year. So I mean it's 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 rough but that's the business, you know. You can almost you can almost get draft another running back in like the 4th or 5th round, patch him up with an AJ Dillon who you already have and then you might find yourself getting Aaron Jones type production. That offensive line though, you got to keep that center though. That's that's key. Whether you have Aaron Rodgers or whether you have someone else in there. My guess is that Aaron Rodgers is going nowhere, right? Jason LaConfora uh, had reported that it was it was trouble in paradise. Like, like they're not getting along. 
But does that actually lead to a trade? Don't know. No, no, no doubt Aaron Jones is... I mean, you want to keep Aaron Jones if you can, but, I mean, if, if, you, if you have cap space issues, then obviously you want to be able to take care of, you know, the, the center area first and then try to patch together the running back position. Ideally, obviously, you want to keep Aaron Jones. But you can kind of... Yeah, I, James Ray saying, I don't think he's going anywhere, right? And Devontae Adams would be upset. I mean, basically, if you're moving Aaron Rodgers, you're moving Devontae Adams, too. Nice Tua right here for Miami. That'll be for Robert. Because you're saying, we're rebuilding. And if you're Devontae Adams, you're like, I don't want to be part of a rebuild. And then you got to move that guy, too. So there would be a lot of dominoes that would fall if that happens. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. It's not like we're talking about a, we're not talking about a bad team by any stretch, you know. They want a ton of regular season games. They got to the NFC Championship, you know, and we're probably a possession or two away from going to the Super Bowl. So, like, but when quarterbacks are involved, it's always a little extra layer of drama. There's Jordan Love right there, speaking of the devil. But then you got to think, well, Aaron Rodgers can opt out. So maybe you want to get something for him before he opts out. Is that right, Adam? Adam's saying Stafford just got traded for Goff? Wow. Wait, hang on a second. Who's reporting this? Is this like... There it is. Two minutes ago, Ian Rappaport. Four minutes ago, Adam uh, Adam Schefter. Detroit is dealing QB Matthew Stafford to the Los Angeles Rams in exchange for two future first-round picks, a third-round pick, and Jared Goff. Wow. Per sources, two n former number one overall picks trading plays in the first blockbuster NFL trade deal of 2021. Yeah. Adam Schefter's reporting it. Ian Rappaport saying full terms of the deal. It's Matthew Stafford to the Rams for two first rounders and a third rounder with Jared Goff. That seems like a lot. But I guess I guess the Rams are just that unhappy with Jared Goff. There's Mahomes right there. So now how what what's yeah, what's Deshaun Watson gonna be worth, Adam Kupperman's asking. If Jared Goff gets that. Here the problem problem with the Rams, Cam Akers here too, problem with the Rams is that they don't have, they don't have money. So if you're moving, if you're exchanging picks, you can't really fill them up with draft picks because they don't have money. But now they've given away draft picks. That's interesting. There's Justin Herbert for the Bolts. That's going to be for Joanne. But I guess, yeah, Justin Larson's right. It sounds like they're just going all in. So they're, they're really going for it for the next couple of years or so, however long they have Matt Stafford. I don't know how many years he has left, but looks like they're going to go all in with him. And then if it all blows up, they're, I mean, they're going to be starting from scratch anyway. They're going to get a new quarterback anyway. All right, Rams. Oh, I can't wait to, to listen to the old talk radio. Sports talk radio when I go home. See see how local the local guys are breaking it down. Thanks to Ray. That's a, that's a di an another Adam. Adam Adam Saint Ange for breaking that news. All right, now let's work on the Prism retail packs. Kenny G saying, looks like you're a Rams fan now. Are you a Stafford guy? And that's the other thing with the Rams. The Rams just seemed like they were just a quarterback away. You know, if they if they had Goff in, in Green, or if they had Stafford in Green Bay with that Rams team,
James Ray saying they're saying 18 teams will have Q different QBs next year. Isn't that crazy? That's exciting though. Cascade, what's up? How mad must Goff be? I know. I think he just bought a house just a couple miles north of us. In, uh, in like North Hermosa Beach or South Manhattan Beach around there. Beautiful house. Like, a, like throwing, he could probably throw a football into the ocean where, where his house is. So now, now he's going to Detroit. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll buy that house, Adam. Yeah, let me just let me just grab the. I don't know how much it is. I think it's like we looked it up. It was all all over the real estate news. It was like it was like three point four or something like that. No big deal. I mean, maybe he's a he's a motivated buyer now or a seller now, Adam. different QBs next year. It would yeah, it would be good for the for the Stafford legacy, Kenny, if if he succeeds in in uh, in LA. That'd be fun to see, actually. You know who's happy? Cooper Cup's happy. Robert Woods is happy. Tyler Higby, Gerald Everett, they're happy. Pass catching tight ends. It could be a, it could be a really fun team. Sling it around. How does that change the NFC West? Well, we have to see how where the uh, San Francisco domino drops. Right now, what? Is, how do the Niners counter? Because the Seahawks are settled, right? They always have Russell Wilson. They got a, they've got other things they need to they need to improve. You know, Cardinals are, are settled with Kyler Murray. So now, and, and now the Rams got their QB. So now it's up to the Niners to see what they will do. See, these are Prism Retail Packs. Yeah, now if... There he is. Speaking of Deshaun Watson, Juan is saying, if Watson lands with the Niners, and if everyone's healthy, obviously, I think it's over for those NF NFC West teams. the Niners do with Garoppolo. There's Aaron Donald. He's got a new QB now. Well, I, th I, th I thought the I thought the the Colts would be a great landing spot for Stafford, but now what are, what are the Colts going to do? Maybe the Colts do get Carson Wentz, maybe? Reunite him with uh, Frank Reich? Saints still need a QB. I mean, Drew Brees hasn't officially retired, but Saints need a QB? I think, maybe? Unless they're going to stick with Winston and, and Taysom Hill, which they might, at least for a season or two. Cascade, you think Watson ends up in Miami? There's been some rumblings there. There's Tua, speaking of Miami. Watson to the Saints? Yeah, Adam's a Jets guy. He's he's wondering why you think 
Deshaun Watson wouldn't be good with the Niners. There's two right here. We're just, I mean, he might be on the move. Miami, Robert. And, of course, Adam's asking because they just got Robert Sala to, to run that team out there. There's a Justin Herbert right here. Nice. Nice Justin Herbert. Bolts. Joanne. A lot of craziness happening tonight. What a quarterback carousel. It's pretty fun. These are the red, white, and blues. Exclusive to this uh, pack set here. All right, so let's run down the list. Cardinals are good with quarterback. Atlanta might look, but they might look in the draft. Ravens are good at quarterback. Buffalo, obviously, good at quarterback. Panthers, I've heard, I've heard some talk about maybe if there was an upgrade from Teddy Bridgewater that the Panthers may explore that. Bears could use a quarterback. I don't know what kind of moves they're going to make, though. Bengals are all right. Browns are set. Dallas, I mean, Dak Prescott after that horrific injury, what, what how, how is he going to be handled? Denver could use a quarterback, right? I don't know if I don't think they're married to to Drew Locke. Detroit now has Goff. Packers, I mean, I, I think at the end of the day, Aaron Rodgers probably stays, right? Houston Texans, Deshaun Watson's demanded trade rumors, so they're going to need a quarterback. Colts need a quarterback. Jaguars will probably draft that quarterback. Chiefs are good. Raiders? I mean, are the Raiders in the mix? Although I've maintained that the offense is not necessarily the biggest problem with them. It's definitely their, like, 31st-ranked defense. Uh, Chargers are good at quarterback. Rams now have Stafford. Miami, Cascade suggesting that maybe Miami is looking, for, looking elsewhere. Yeah, it seems like a lot, right, Johnny? Johnny's saying, Johnny's saying Rams gave up way too much for Stafford. I guess they were just that desperate to get rid of Goff. Hey, hold on, let's just go down the list really quick. I mean, Vikings may have to start looking for, is Kirk Cousins the answer? Most fans would probably say no. New England needs a quarterback. New Orleans probably needs a quarterback. No, maybe, maybe they don't. Maybe they'll go with Winston and Taysom for a year or two. Giants might be good. Jets probably want to look for a change. Eagles up in the air. Steelers, Ben Roethlisberger. It's getting older. Niners probably need a quarterback. Buccaneers might draft a quarterback. Titans are good. Washington football team, would they move on from Alex Smith? There's a lot going on. There's going to be a ton of changes. Yeah, Johnny's a Washington football fan. He's like, I guess stuck with Alex. Alex Smith isn't bad, but but maybe they'll look for look for an upgrade. It's exciting. A lot of changes. Just in case. There. What if Tyler Johnson goes off? Then this card is a million dollars. That goes to the Buccaneers. That'll be for Jay Goins. And there's Jordan Love, red, white, and blue. Kind of weird that top loader had like a little bit of glue stuck right in here so i couldn't feed the card through all right uh let's see well, let's go back in time to 2013 prism football back in the day when when ej manuel was the answer for the buffalo bills remember those days Anyone know off the top of their head 2013 NFL draft class who we're looking for here? Mm 
Geno Smith. Yeah, there's Geno Smith. Kelsey, that's right. Kim. Kelsey. But mostly Geno Smith. Hawkins, Keenan Allen, maybe around? Yeah, they're around there. How much of this would, did we break, Adam? Do you, do you remember back in the day? I feel like 2013 is when we kind of started... It's kind of when we started breaking, like fall of 2013. I remember doing a ton of 2013 triple threads football. Remember that? Ooh. I think Russell Wilson was 11 or 12, I think. 2011 or 12. Yeah, we pulled all sorts of Geno Smith for case we... Yeah. Yeah, we probably did a lot more. I think 2013, we were just starting out, but probably more Taj Boyd. We probably, we probably did a lot of tw a lot more 2014 prison. Is this the first year of prison? I don't think so. I think there were a few more years before 2013. I seem to remember Andrew Luck on a box, maybe of 2012 prison. Right. Let's keep rolling. So we're obviously we're, we're doing the base heavy stuff first. We'll circle back towards that back end right there. And then, uh, and then we'll close with the two mini helmets. We'll play a little, a couple rounds of America's favorite game, Who Am I? I give you clues, and then you give me your guesses for bragging rights. And if you get it right, you'll have bragging rights. You can tell your friends. You can brag to your family. You can point at them being and say, what did you win today? There's, there's Geno Smith right here. 2013, Geno Smith. Tyler Wilson, I remember Tyler Wilson. Jimmy G could go back to the Pats. Is that that, that would that would be crazy? I mean, but they got to they got to do something too. None of these teams. That this is the first domino. There's Andre Brown to fifty. This is the first domino. Matthew Stafford going to the Rams. Yeah, Johnny, maybe pop pop, pop some uh, Stafford rookies on eBay. Now that there's a whole new L.A. market, a large L.A. market that now has a new quarterback with a little, little more, with a better pedigree, better resume than uh, the one that it's outgoing. Patriots edition of Brady. And we got Golden Tate. Nice, Golden Tate autograph. Seattle Seahawks, the Hawks of the Sea. Narc with Seattle. There's a rookie, Travis Kelsey, right there. Nice. That'll go to Matthew, Matthew G, who won the Chiefs in a uh, in a cello pack, in a filler break. It's the rookie Travis Kelsey card. It's an old Cincinnati Bearcat, maybe? These cards kind of stick together here. Oh, boy. Matt Flynn. And we got Robert Alford. 
rookie autograph for the Dirty Birds. That'll be for Nick Stober. Marquise Goodwin. There's Matthew Stafford right here. Got Jamar Taylor, DeAndre Hopkins rookie. Texans. That'll be for Jason. Giovanni Bernard right there. All right. Well, let's, we might as well do this. There's Jared Goff on the box. 2018 Donner's Optic Football. Jared Goff, just way too, I guess just way too inconsistent. I think the Rams did their due diligence, though. I think they gave they gave Goff, you know, because Goff came was before McVeigh. I want to say, so McVeigh could have easily been like, "Hey, I want my own guy." Blah 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 blah. But no, I think McVeigh gave him a, gave him a shot. They got to a Super Bowl, almost won a Super Bowl. So, so, but you kind of saw why they lost Jared, Jared Goff. You know, it's gonna be hard enough anyway. So, and then it was just up and a little too up and down. You don't didn't know which golf you're gonna get. Some days he looked great, some days he didn't. And I think the buzz around town leading up to tonight, I think where there were a lot of people were saying, I think McVeigh just is. Well, once they saw John Wolford, I think people said that's where it changed. Where they where they went. Well, McVeigh has got this offense where where maybe you could almost. You can almost plug and play. Like if, if Wolford is running this offense almost as just as good as Goff, you know, then maybe we maybe we can make that move at quarterback. And if we get a significant upgrade there, who knows where we'd be? It was the thought process, and I guess that just took hold. And all of a sudden, bang! Stafford is here for the Rams. That's crazy. What AFC team, James Reyes is asking, what AFC team would Watson need to go to to immediately contend with Mahomes and the Chiefs? Adam's thinking Steelers? Yeah, but what are they going to do with Ben? Yeah, that's right, Tyler. We were, that's what we've been talking about. Lions got Jared Goff. It'll be interesting to see how that works with the new uh, new coaching staff and everything. I mean, I would say the I actually would say the the Colts would love to have Deshaun Watson. Oh, nice downtown Aaron Rodgers. But I don't think the Texans are ever going to trade in division. So I guess Steelers. Patriots can't count the pay. Patriots got Deshaun Watson. In case you're wondering what downtown Green Bay looks like, it looks like this. There's ice cream. There's there's milk. All sorts of crazy. It looks actually looks actually pretty delicious. There's, there's a look at that badger back there. There's a gigantic badger in downtown Green Bay. So I don't know how citizens live with such a creature. But. They work. They work around it. That's why. That's why it's a tough town. Tough people. All right. That goes to Green Bay Narc with the Packers. Yeah, but they wouldn't go to the Colts though. Texans aren't going to trade in division. There's Mason Rudolph, Landon Collins, Orange, Alex McGuff, eighty out of ninety-nine. Didn't he make a start somewhere? What, is he on like Detroit now? This is Seahawks edition. Landon Collins, orange, will go to the Giants. That'll be for Gale. It's to 199. 
Mason Rudolph to 199. Well, let's see. I don't know if the Browns are going to give up on Baker Mayfield, though. I feel like they're going to stick with Baker Mayfield. And there's Kyle Aletta. Austin, yes, check the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Hey, remember when he autographs up in the corner there? Yeah, that's the crazy thing. I don't know, Johnny B. If Stafford is worth two first-round picks and a third round and a player, what is Deshaun Watson worth? Don't know. All right, there's Kyle Letta, Giants, Gale. Royce Freeman. Dalton Schultz to 299. And Saquon Barkley, rated rookie card for Gale. Hopefully he comes back strong. I mean, Deshaun Watson, I, I feel like some people have connected Deshaun Watson to the Giants. So would it be two first rounders, a third? And a uh, Daniel Jones for Houston. Right, the Rams just ruined the Deshaun Watson market. Now it's just now it's going to be crazy. There's Dalton for Dallas to two ninety nine. There's Blake Bortles to two ninety nine. Alex Collins to 99. And there's Sam Darnold. Remember, this is this is only 2018. Has Sam Darnold really gotten a fair shake in 2018? 2019? 2020? Could I at least skip... I don't know. I could, I could see I could see the Jets just letting his contract run through and see how it works out. All right, onwards. What about some no huddle? It's prism no huddle. Yeah, yeah. No Josh Allen in this one. Now, Sam Darnold goes to Chris Z. Is, that, is this the only Josh Allen possible box? I think so. That's 2019. Sorry. That was it. Good mini helmets. Yeah, Juan. I remember that Juan saying... That problem happened uh, in, in soccer in, in reference to Watson being unaffordable now that there was the golf cost. It happened in soccer when Paris Saint-Germain bought Neymar for like this record transfer fee and then everything spiked. So then, you, then you, you're paying, you know, average players are getting transfer fees of 50 million and look how Neymar has worked out. Part of that's Neymar, but... But yeah, it didn't quite work out. I blinked. It's already the fourth quarter. The seven forty left in the fourth quarter. Eighty-one, eighty-one. Lakers, Celtics tied. All this Stafford golf talk. Who has a draft capital to afford Deshaun Watson? I think the Jets are in a good spot. Adam Kupperman's Jets, I think, have accumulated a lot of picks from a lot of their moves in the last year or so. There's Rondé Barber, 235. Yeah, Jets have yeah four first-round picks over the next two drafts. 
Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Black and white for the Chiefs, Matthew. I guess Detroit now has a lot of draft. Imagine if Detroit flips that for Deshaun Watson. How crazy would that? Is that even allowed under NFL rules? Austin, yes, all the breaks on the website are for are for tonight. But we do the show does end at around nine o'clock Pacific, so they all could be done tonight if they fill. But we are running out of time. There's a five out of five, Kenny G, Detroit, William Punt. So yeah, so they're, Austin, they're technically are for tonight, but we do have limited time. Kenny G, Green, Disco. For William, all aboard the Big Head Express. Woo woo! James, I feel like there, there. I feel like there is a rule. There must be a rule, right? Players Association might have a rule, or you can't be traded. I think NBA has that kind of rule. The Players Association has that kind of rule, or that's in the. In the uh, CBA, where like if you're traded, you can't be traded for another like six months or something like that. And we got Van Jefferson autograph. Yes, well, he's got a new quarterback throwing to him now. That goes to Alfonso and the Rams. Someone look that up. There's Teddy Bruschi. But if not, if that rule, if that doesn't exist, yeah, you don't know the time frame, but that rule definitely exists, right? Yeah, there has to be. Otherwise, that just prevents players from being traded like every other week, <laughs> leading up to like opening opening week. Damon Arnett to 79. All right, so maybe maybe Goff can't be be, uh, be flipped again. Although that's not to say that that Detroit can't just take their the draft picks and not move Goff, but take the draft picks. And then it'll be just off as a backup, very expensive backup quarterback. <laughs> All right, this is the this is Mega Box, Prism Mega Box. These are the green Pulsar ones. Matt Tice accidentally tip in a three pointer from LeBron. Oops. There's Austin Hooper. Chase Claypool. Will he have another quarterback throwing? Different quarterback throwing to him? Chris Jones, Green Pulsar, not numbered. Devin Asiasi. And we got Mark Tremura. Sensational signatures. Green Pulsar. Nice. Narc with the Packers. 
Look at that big guy running there. Love it. All right, we might as well do the prism blaster, keep it in the prism mode here. Remember, folks, on the mini helmets, the non-pro uniform rules apply. There's no official checklist, so if they're in, if it's a college helmet, it'll go to the team that they're currently on, if they're active, or the team they played for the longest if they're retired. We'll use a Pro Football Reference for that. There's Jimmy G. Does he get he get traded? All oh, I mean, exciting off season. Jordan Brooks. There's Brian Edwards, rookie silver for my Raiders. It'll be for Matthew G. Chase Claypool. It's pretty solid for the Steelers. Mack with the Steelers. AJ Terrell. And Warren Moon. All right, what about 2019 Prism Football? Jared Cook. Lorenzo Carter. There's Drew Locke. Rookie gear. Are the Broncos going to explore a uh, a new quarter options for a new quarterback, or will they go in the draft? I don't know. We'll see. But that'll go to. Catherine and Denver. There's Devo Samuel. Christian Kirk. There's Brett Rippon. And there's Drew Locke right here, rookie card. But if they keep him. All right, we're almost there, folks. Let's do this box of 2020 Panini Black. There you go, Trez. Base cards at the bottom right here. That's an autograph, all right. Oh. Apologies, Dak Prescott, it's out of 99. Behind Marcus Allen is LaMichael Piran. Rookie influx. Patch there, 26 out of 50. Jets, that'll be for Chris. And we have Jalen Hurts. Nice, 34 out of, looks like 50. Kind of cool. It's got Eagles, black on black right there. It's kind of hard to see, but there it is. And the Jalen Hurts autograph in the middle. That'll be for the Fly Eagles. Fly, Zach. The toppers want to hit the bell. Zach, T. 
with their future quarterback, maybe? Or will they stick with Wentz? Don't know. And back here we have Cole McDonald, who had a farm. E-I. E-I. Oh. I'm sure he, I'm sure he gets that every single day of his life. To 199. <laughs> Your name's Cole McDonald? He's like, yeah, don't. Cole McDonald? Like, yeah, I know you're going to say it. Cole McDonald had a farm? Yeah. All right, this is nice. 2020 Mosaic. Hobby. Lakers up 93-89. Two minutes left. 2.15 left. That's a bad shot, Anthony. Oh, that's, was that a foul? Missed the free throw. Ball don't lie. That wasn't a foul. Ball don't lie. All right. Almost there, folks. Last box of cards, and then we got a couple mini helmets. We got Daryl LaMonica, old Raider, going to Adam. We got a Joe Burrow, rookie red. Cincinnati, Matt Lieber. Ooh. Nice play, Dennis. As a Laker fan, it's it's been a long time since I've seen that kind of speed that Dennis Schroeder exhibits. That adds a nice little element. NFL debut to uh, Tunga Bailoa for Miami. That'll be for uh, Robert. Jalen Ragor. And a regular Tua Tungo Velo, then. There you go. There you go, Robert. Some people speculating he's going to be traded. QB carousel is going to be crazy. And where's he going to end up? There's this guy. And there's this guy. Lynn Bowden Jr., Raiders, Adam. Stop that. I think Jason Tatum's not just that good. I mean, yeah, that's good defense by Anthony Davis. Hmm. 
Oh, they got it back. Silver James Morgan, Juju Smith Schuster, Rogers, and an NFL debut, Justin Herbert, and the other Justin, Justin Jefferson. Vikings, Adam Copperman will get that Justin Jefferson, and Joanne will get the Justin Herbert. Old Herbie. And there's a regular Justin Herbert right there. Nice. Even better. There you go, Joanne. And we got Jeff Saturday and a Jimmy Garoppolo stained glass. These stained glasses are pretty cool. Niners, Colin. Let's see what the Niners do with Jimmy G. And Jeff Saturday. The white parallel is number to 25. Blue horseshoes. Colts. Ron. All right. Put your thinking caps on, boys and girls. We got a couple rounds of Who Am I? America's favorite game where I give you the clues. And you try to guess who the player is for that delicious, delicious bragging right. All right. Who am I? All right, all right, all right. Who am I? I'm a, an American football player, of course. Also American, playing American football. I played for one, two, three teams my entire career. A six-time Pro Bowler, eight-time All-Pro, 1970s All-Decade team. Part of two teams, part of one team's Ring of Honor, part of another team's Wall of Fame. Played 185 games, started 178 games, recovered seven Fumbles, I'm in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I'm an offensive guard. Born in Detroit. Still with us. First round pick. 26 pick overall, first round, 1973. And if you've been watching the show all day, this is a name that I am... Oh, they have a pronunciation thing here. It's a name I couldn't pronounce earlier today. See if I could say this name. It's Joe Della Milor. Della Milor. He has a lot, a lot of, lot of letters for that. Oh, what are you doing, Lakers? No. Why? Where's the rebound? Oh, there you go. Jesus. What happened there? And it's a uh, Buffalo edition. Buffalo! Buffalo gold. Joe De La Malore played with the Bills from 1973 to 1979, then took a stint in Cleveland, then went back to the Bills in 1985. And that was that. There you go. So there's the Bills helmet. Looks pretty clean, pretty sharp. There's the Beckett sticker right there. Beckett card should be in here somewhere. I think inside the helmet right there. There you go. So that'll go to uh, go to Adam. Okay. 
actually. Should we just should we give you the box too? I don't even know if they send these in the boxes. I don't think they do, but just put it back. All right. One more, and then we're giving away that Merino. So I know it's late, but stay stay with me here. All right, now we're looking at TriStar Autograph Mini Helmet. Again, as a reminder, our college rules apply since there's no checklist for this. So if it's, you know, if it's Clyde edwards Elaire, obviously his he's on Chiefs now. It'll go to the Chiefs. TriStar gives you like a little game show card. No, no game show card this time? Oh, there it is. Try not to show you the team, team colors here on the helmet. Got it. All right. Good luck. Who am I? I am a uh, first round draft pick. And when I retired, I retired as the all time leading tight end receiver and fourth among all receivers. I've caught a pass in 150 consecutive games, a two time Super Bowl champ, a three time Pro Bowl selectee. And got into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Not Tony Gonzalez. It's kind of a trick question there. A little, tri little tricky there. At the time that he retired. I was a 23rd overall pick in 1978. Played for one team my entire career. And then I was an executive for that team. Six hundred and sixty two receptions for seven thousand nine hundred and eighty yards and forty seven receiving touchdowns. He won two Super Bowls as an executive. There you go. Last warrior C B C B D got it. C D B got it. It's Ozzie Newsom. When he retired all-time leading tight end receiver and fourth among all receivers. So that goes to Kenny S. and the Cleveland Browns. Ooh, I kind of like this matte finish right here on this helmet. There it is right there. There's the HOF inscription right there. His autograph. And I think still, still, yeah, still with the, with the Ravens, right. Yeah, I think Newsom stepped down as the GM for everyday stuff, and then then now he's currently listed as executive vice president on the Ravens website right there. So pretty nice. This goes to Cleveland. Kenny S with that one, and there you have it, boys and girls. That was the 12-box pro football mixer featuring Dan Marino. There he is. No points, no randomizers, no nothing, huh? All right, nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm losing my voice here at the end of the week. Hmm. All right. So no other randomizers except for the Dan Marino. So let's get everyone's name from Sean and the Cardinals down to Matt and the Washington football team and everybody in between. Let's put all the names in there. And let's randomize it. Let's roll it and randomize that list one and a four five times on the randomizer. Name on top gets that PSA 10. Dan Marino from 1984 Tops Football after five. Good luck. One. I was kind of nervous. Two. Three. Four. And a one. Fifth and final time. After five. Big thanks, everybody, for getting into this. I appreciate it. Who's going to win this massive card here? 
Oof. Ah, sorry, Dylan. Congrats to after five, C5 on the bottom. Congrats to Sean Maddock, who won the spot in a cello pack break. Ends up with the 1984 Topps Football Dan Marino card, PSA 10, which we're estimating to be around $6,000. The, 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 a lot of these vintage cards, especially the highly graded ones, the 10s especially, the value has been increasing significantly. So Dan Marino, if you didn't know, kids, is a classic dropback quarterback with a rifle arm and quick release. He was accorded All-Pro recognition last season and was named to the Pro Football Weekly's All-Rookie Team. Dan is adept at reading defenses and picking up the blitzes. There you go. That's what he's about. He's pretty good. There you go. Laces out, Dan. Thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate everyone getting in to the action. There'll be more next time. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Check it out. We always try to tie some sort of giveaway to the uh, to most mi mixers. So always keep an eye out for stuff like that. It's not a bad break either. Yeah, it's, it does stink. He's, he's one of those guys, right? Johnny, like one of those guys, the, the best to have never won it all. I think he, he, he said back in the day when he first went to the first one, he was just like, don't worry, guys, we'll be back next year. You know what I mean? Like it was kind of a, kind of a sad story because he, he thought it was going to be easy. It wasn't. It's hard. It's tough, folks. Football. Life. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. That was the 12-box pro football mixer from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.